Yo, what's up, guys? Today, I want to show you how to be able to run 6400 one to one on your 9800 XRD, maybe 9950 XRD. And uh, I'm doing this video because for me, for months, I couldn't figure out why I wasn't able to run a stable. Let me show you what I mean by that, right? So, like, I would go in the BIOS as I am right now, I would go to OC Tweaker. I would put the expo right i'm not overclocking i'm just putting uh my expo profile so during profile setting expo 6400 cl30 this is a g skill kit right so it's good ram it should work so you might saying uh you might have not applied your soc right but i will 1.3 let me put it to one one and let me go into windows and show you what i mean but by, by it not being not stable so i'll see you in a sec so as you can see, I'm back in Windows. I'm running 6400 Expo. And let me open Carhu and show you how fast I'm gonna error out, okay? So I've opened this and let me let it run. So as you can see, 26 seconds in, we already got an error, which is absurd. And a lot of people might be saying, you know, oh, you got unlucky in your CPU, even with 1.3 SOC, you're not able to run stable, right? And I'm here to prove you guys wrong. Like whoever's saying that, right? Because I was able to run this for 12 hours. And I'll show you that after I'll show you the settings, right? But let's head into BIOS and I'll show you exactly what to do. So as you can see, we're back into BIOS with the same settings as before. And let me show you what you have to change to make this stable. So for some reason on ASRock boards, I've heard from two other more people that gear down mode was actually causing them instabilities, which is really weird and what i mean by that is like gear down on not disabled and i checked that myself and that was the case this is really weird i reported it to asrock already i'm not sure if it's in other motherboards as well but uh for now i would recommend you to disable it it's better off anyways right so yeah i'm gonna recommend that also trfae i what i usually do is max right you might need a fan on your RAM for this, so don't just copy. But these are the settings I did in around those stable, right? So I did that. So now you want to go down. You want to keep the 1.3 SOC. Uh, VDDP, this is a bit too high. I'm going to like go to auto, right? But now the important setting is, right? Is you want to go to AMD CBS, NBIO, GFX configuration. And you want to turn off your integrated GPU why you might ask because it takes away your soc voltage to your integrated graphics from your memory controller so you definitely definitely want this off right because this this is what's going to help you actually run 6400 because you need that voltage if you're unlucky like me right like maybe you can just run 6400 with 1.25 stable but for me that's not the case and for you guys wanting to run Infinity Fabric at 2133. He might get away with 1.3 SOC, but you might not. And for those who aren't, what you want to do is you want to raise up your VDDGs. I've tried 0.95, it didn't work. I've tried 1, it didn't work. So what I ended up going for is 1.1 and 1.1 on both. And that seemed to be stable for me. I ran this this morning and I did 10 hours on Carhu, so I think that's enough for me. But if you guys don't want to go that high, you can just keep them on auto and just do uh, 1.28 VSOC. It might work out for you. But if it doesn't, just go back to 1.3 and 2000. Right? So let me do what I sh I'm going to show you later that I tested. But yeah, these are like the really important settings you want to do if you want to be able to run them. I was looking for months and I couldn't figure out why it didn't work. So let's go back to Windows and I'll show you. So as you can see, I'm back in Windows, and this is a screenshot, right? This is like not the live screen. But as you can see here, I've managed to do 6400 Expo with 1.3. Uh, I did run like a bit, uh, like aggressive timings. This is like the ASRock feature thing, so you can do. But regardless, I ran for 12 hours straight, no errors. And then I, I just stopped it, right? Because like I felt like it was 12 hours, you know, I woke up, I wanted to play a game. So yeah, I bet I can do this for 24 and it's gonna be fine. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and that now you're able to run your RAM at 6400. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.